Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today is day 25, season 1, so that's going to be there. Starting off down here, we have the uh, Discovery uh, Defender F. Williams uh, car trailer and the Honda Club parked up there. In the shed, they've always been put back in the shed after being used uh, in the last video. The old scraper and book, spray, uh, book rig have been put here. Uh, the book rig won't be used. Um, Till about May time when we do the first cut of pit silage. Uh, then the ice grave won't be used till winter. Then we have the tay on the bucket, uh, oil tank, shoot trailer, T6175, John Deere Gator, and uh, the John Deere 5400 tire that I up. Um, so the farmer's son is just taking this out of the shed uh, and he's currently sitting in it waiting to put it back um, just to keep it running really because she hasn't been doing much recently. So we're just trying to sort of get it warmed up because uh, we might end up using it later on today. Then in the shed, we have the lawnmower KTM dirt bike. Uh, Coon mower has been uh, moved out of way by our wrapper and the fellow rake. Then we have the new Horn 740 uh, parked up on the class Roland 340 baler. And we've got the farmer there, just having a look inside, just sort of servicing it. And it's got that stick there. Uh, we're just propping it up and as the farmer's son is prepared just in case it falls on him to get the uh, lid open quicker or quickly um to get it off him because that would that would crush his arm um yeah that's why he's got the, the stick there uh he's just trying to look under it quickly um because that bit doesn't really need to not that really big of a deal it's all in here where it picks up the grass um so yeah, so he's got the uh, 7740 running there, uh, with the back window open. And in the shed we have the 5612 and the 6616 bottled up, trail forager, uh, spearhead, hedge cutter, and the coon fertilizer spreader on the back there. And we have the spare gates uh, from the Carapen, Matt's Land Rover, uh, Keen and Feeder, uh, New Holland Mini Baler. Then we have the bale trailer. So we've decided to put the JCB Mini Digger on the bale trailer with the grid and bucket so everything that goes with the digger is out of the way um because we didn't know we were going to be using the bale trailer anytime soon we knew well we would probably use the apple williams more than we would the bale trailer especially this time and um, because a big trailer could sink in the ground easily whereas a small ish trailer um could be used and then you'd have to take the digger off and then you'd have to put it back on afterwards um but you know it doesn't actually look that bad um and just in case, if we're in a mad rush, you know, we can put it on the bale trailer. But with the Eiffel Williams, we could use that for other jobs. But if it's got the digger on it, it's more work to take it off. Then we have the Marcin size trailer with the sheets and tyres off the pit. Then we have the Eiffel Williams flapper trailer and the flaming double bale lifter. And here we have Matt in the John Deere 6920S. He's got the herb stump trailer on the back. Uh, he's just come back there from a quarry, um, so he's just helping out the quarry today. Um, just uh, moving some stone around. Uh, so they need an extra tractor, um, because what they tend to do on wet days is they don't tend to get much customers, so they tend to get as much stone as they can for, well, really for prepared for when it's a dry day. Um, and when there's no customers, it's easier to get more stone ready for customers uh, or whatever they're digging out of the ground uh, so yeah so he's just been helping out at the local quarry there um, she's not really that dirty obviously the tyres are dirty and the steps are a bit dirty uh, we sort of pressure washed her but not enough um, but yeah she's coming into the yard there and we have uh, these chickens these are just knocking around in the yard instead of the cow field and in the sheep field all the using lambs, him down the south, the chickens, chicks, ducks and ducklings there, just wandering around the field. Then we have this group of lambs, um, seem to be enjoying themselves. And obviously you can see there's one mother, another one, another one, and then these, and there's one there. Um, so, to think that, um, it's always these seven lambs that tend to hang out with each other, um, which must mean they're either their mums, um, sort of tend to stick around together so the lambs happen to um but it's nice just to see the lambs 
running around, although some of them are bigger than the others, but they're still way running around the field, which is actually nice to watch in the summer when the evenings are quiet and you see them having fun. Um, and yeah, and we head into the cow field, and um, the cows are enjoying grazing. Um, they tend to like in this lower or this bit of the field here, so you can see it's getting quite thin um, compared to the rest of it, or quite bold because um, they're eating the grass. And then you've got the meglams there. It doesn't seem as cramped with the other free chickens as well. Um, although free chickens can make something look cramped. Um, but these are beef cows, so these are a lot bigger than dairy cows. Um, which we uh, have uh, some at the other farm. Uh, but we don't tend to do much with them because they're at the other farm. Um, we don't tend to bring them here. And also the other farm looks after them and we sell the calves and whatever. Um, and also we've got Aberdeen Angus at the other farm. Uh, and just in case any of you were wondering, we have one Frisian bull and one Frisian cow. And we have two Jersey cows and a Jersey bull. Um, so that's just the five of them. Um, but that's a small little herd of dairy cows. And um, obviously the milk will get sold. Um, most of it goes to the other farm because obviously they look after them more. Obviously there's a joint ownership and they are our cows that we've bought. Um, so they we get some of the milk top prices and the calf prices. Um, yeah. So yeah. So the the videos are starting to get a bit more busier, although we are just heading into the second week of April. Um but the new vehicle that was supposed to be on the farm this episode will be on the farm in the next episode. Um, so, I won't say what it is because it sort of spoils it and I won't say who it's for because that spoils it again. Um, but you'll just have to wait and see for Friday. Uh, obviously, it'll have some uh, modifications and stuff added to it over the year um, to come. So, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, so yeah, so I also do appreciate the support on uh, the Modern Farm videos. Um, it used to be in between like 15 and 30 views for the Modern Farm videos uh, last year. And now it's in between like 20 and 40. Um, which I know doesn't seem like much um, compared to other Modern Farm YouTubers. But um, Modern Farm videos I find it a lot easier. Because um, cause if you think about it, it's easier. It's already basically set up for you, whereas with F22, it's supposed to be sort of realistic for the survival roleplay. Um, so yeah, same to this video guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and bye.